Splatoon 3 Salmon Run. Big deal. Big yes, game. I'm very excited for this. This is going to be top f- like This is obviously in my Goaties list as well. Splatoon 3 is going to be great. Salmon Run was an amazing mode in Splatoon 2 that added a lot of replay value to that game for me. I probably spent more time in Salmon Run than I did in actual Splatfest sometimes, or uh, in actual Turf Wars sometimes, to be honest. So, um, Salmon Run was a fan favorite mode from Splatoon 2. I, mm-hmm. I generally knew it was going to come back. What is cool is seeing how much of an emphasis they have on it this time around. Like The fact that for this Nintendo Direct presentation, the Splatoon 3 news we got was just Salmon Run, yeah. emphasizes to me that they know that this mode is a big deal. Mm-hmm. Look at that. They even combined some cinematics with this trailer. It looks awesome. There's going to be boss battles in it. That That's, that's going to cool. be a pain in the ass to do. That's with. cool. It's going to be yeah, crazy. Salmon, Salmon Run was great. I'm glad they are bringing it back. I didn't think they wouldn't bring it back. I knew they knew it was a big deal. It's mm-hmm. just nice to get the confirmation. Yeah. Did you? So did you play this mode a lot? Like, what was your thoughts on it? Yeah, I, I love Salmon Run. Specifically, uh, I... I almost exclusively played it with friends and mm-hmm. i never oh really yeah played best, it way play. Play. best way to play best way to play and we we often played during times when the weapons were completely randomized because sometimes it'll tell you what weapons you can use ahead of time mm-hmm. and sometimes it just leaves a question mark and that means it can be anything yeah. and then sometimes sometimes it would be a gold question mark and that means it's randomized weapons but there's also weapons exclusive to salmon run and those oh, weapons yeah. are so freaking funny and are so awesome i love them so much you yeah because like then they have like rapid fire yeah. umbrella mm-hmm. and i'm <laughs> yeah, just like, like all, this thing's this great stuff. yeah this this is all so nutty i love that you can relay the eggs that's that, like that adds that's a so whole good new layer yeah of cooperativeness because it can actually be beneficial to keep someone at the base yeah and stuff like that instead of be like being like we can't get to the base there's too many things now you can just you can just alley-oop that stuff it's great yeah this, um, this is so cool i mm-hmm. think in a in someone's video i once discussed the idea of having competitive co-op salmon run i thought they would be oh like who gets in the most eggs yeah i thought if they were going to expand upon salmon run they would do that i'm a-okay with this too a a boss battle salmon run where you can relay the eggs to each other it it looks great i i just hope that we get like 10 maps for it oh yeah we need more maps also we need to be able to uh play it whenever we want that's a big one for me yeah uh, Spl- Splatoon 2 had, I think, five or six maps. Mm-hmm. And I remember, like, the last two, maybe three they added, were awesome. They were so cool, and they were so different than the first two or three maps. Yeah. But well, the fact that we're getting Salmon Run at all excites me. I'm, I, I think this is so cool, like, coming out of the helicopter. Like, it's cool. They really went in on this Team Chaos aesthetic. Yeah, I'm really, really excited it. about that. Um, but if you want to you wanna do a little dissection here on what we're seeing... Uh, obviously, Salmon Run, new stage, new area. It's just surrounded by... It looks it looks like a decently sized stage, to be honest. Like, some of the Salmon Run stages got really huge. Obviously, we got a couple uh, levels of elevation because the water rises and falls, depending on the events that are going on here, right? It um, doesn't look like it's symmetrical in any way. And that's yeah. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Dra- straight from the jump, we got two Octolings and two Inklings. So that's cool in that uh, Octo expansion canonical uh, continuity going on here. Got the 15 egg quota, wave one. Um, we got the the scuttle crab tank or whatever it's called. One, that's one of the special items. So that's cool. Going to have some new special items that we can use in Salmon Run. That'll be very handy in this mode, to be honest. So that's going to be great. Um, talking about some of these boss salmonids. Because already... The dude with, like, the water balloon on his head was already a pain. Um, the snipers with the lasers, those were already a pain. Um, but, yeah, now we got, like, the fish stick, which kind of looks like a carnival ride. I almost thought that we were going to go, like, a carnival theme, kind of, with the new uh, the new stuff. And then we also have the, the flipper flopper, which is probably going to be the worst thing. Because it literally just spawns and makes an area full of, like... Salmon at ink, and then yeah, if you're I, caught in it, you're screwed. That, when I saw that, I had a big smile on my face. Like that's so creative. You have to play turf war against it in order to beat it. I yeah, thought that you was literally got to overfill. Mm-hmm. So they're just adding a lot more nopes, and you already know they're probably gonna add a couple more new enemies in here. Uh, like we, like you said, the egg throw, big clutch move there. Uh, and then right here at the end, they didn't give this thing a name, but it is a big emphasis. 
this big boy right here, this big beefy salmon boy right here. Oh, they didn't give it a name? No, it was they, just they, 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 they teased I it. I thought in the actual Nintendo Direct presentation right afterward, he was like, this big boss salmon dude. Yeah, I don't think whatever. they I don't think they named it, but um yeah, that's gonna be I'm wondering how that's gonna work, because is that gonna be like one of those like super late game or high difficulty bosses where no other salmonids are here and you just gotta deal with him? Is it that's gonna what, be that's like... exactly what I think. I think what's gonna happen is once you reach a certain rank, mm -hmm. you clear wave three and all, all your characters cheer. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then every once in a while, instead of going back to base... That thing shows up. Mr. Mr. Grizz is going to be like, hey, I, I'm, I'm losing signal. Is everything okay out there? Mm -hmm. And then this is going to show up, and then you have to do a boss fight. And if you lose the boss fight, you don't get to keep any of your... That, oh, my gosh. See, I love it, but I hate it. I love it so much, but I hate it. Because that I, I is going to be like great. I love that, though, where, where you mm -hmm. play a game, and it's like, oh, yeah, you know, get to level 10 to beat the game. And normally that is what happens, but every once in a while... Like, there's just this extra little thing that comes in. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of like when you first discovered Crazy Hand back in Super Smash. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, what? yeah. That's what that reminds me of. And also... That, that um, seems so cool. Yeah. And then also what I'm wondering is, like, we still don't know anything about this, the, the plot, right? And there's still this little little salmonid mini boy right here in the, in the, All in the story. All we know is that they're going to include mammals. Yeah. The, the mammalians or whatever. Right. So. That's all we know. Mm-hmm. I th I think it would be really cool if um, yeah, the salmonids were involved in the plot, like or just salmon run hat more contextual. What if we actually get to see what Mister Grizz looks like? What if what if it's like we're not speaking to him specifically through that statue anymore at some point? Maybe. That'd be cool. Yeah, I could see them going either way because mm -hmm. it, it reminds me of bears are mammals, tangent. right? Yeah, it, it, for for a quick tangent. Yeah, it reminds me of when Pixar was making The Incredibles too. Mm -hmm. And one of their original ideas to open up the movie was they were going to show Frozone's wife. And they had concept art for her, and I think they even made a 3D model for her. But ultimately, they, they thought it would be funnier to keep her off screen. And so that's what they settled on. Mm -hmm. So it, they might do the same thing here. It might be better to leave his actual appearance ambiguous. Or they could bring him in. I, I could see, definitely see it going either way. Or maybe get like a picture or something, like some type of actual little art of him or something. I don't know. Right. Um, but yeah, bears are mammals, right? Bears are mammals. Okay, mammals yeah, we, are, are, yeah. Basically, I mean, contextually, he could show up. Yeah, if an animal doesn't lay an egg, it's it's pretty safe to assume that it's a mammal. Okay. I know there are exceptions. I'm not a, I'm not an animal biologist, but generally, animals that don't lay eggs are are are. It's like safe to assume that they are. A mammal. Okay, cool. Then yeah, yeah. Then uh, there is hope that we could actually get to see physical grizz in this game. That'd be